Giraffe Armature, Step 1. How do we get this far? Hey, it's Pam Duffy and I'm here to help you craft your career with creative marketing and artistic inspiration. And it's a Thursday, so it's another needle felting tutorial. Every Thursday I make videos just like this, so if this is something you're interested in, don't forget, come back every Thursday. So many years ago, I had a go at making this giraffe and to be honest, I really struggled with them and found it easier to have him a sitting down giraffe rather than a standing up one. But it seems the fashion that everybody's making giraffes just now and I got an interesting commission. Someone saw my giraffe and what they're looking for is one of the giraffes from World of Warcraft. I don't play World of Warcraft, I had to have a wee look found something online and figured out that's not far off a normal giraffe I can make that so I want to show you step by step how I'm going about this process it's not a tutorial these are just one-off sculptures so I have some basic steps that I follow for instance how I make the armature but I'm also going to be showing you all the mistakes how I adapt it as I go along with making it because no two of my sculptures are identical they're all one of a kind there's no patterns so I just want to show you how I'm getting on with this guy so first of all let's have a look at how I got to this stage
So that's stage one of this guy done, making the armature and then padding it out with a little bit of fiber. Now I used the heaviest gauge wire I've got, links will be in the descriptions below, because I figured I wanted a really nice stable structure. But to be honest, I think this was a little bit too heavy duty. It made it really hard to handle. As you can see, I'm having to use pliers to even twist the wire. If needed, it would have probably been better to go a couple of gauges 
lighter, softer wire and even double wrap if anywhere needed strengthening. But this is the joy of needle felting. I make little mistakes and work from there. So it's working out so far so good. So what you want to do once you've wrapped your guy with the wool you think you need, spend a good few hours just getting this felted on and I'm nicely smoothed out and then you'll see any areas where you need to add more. Obviously we want the bottoms of these legs as smooth as we can. The tops are going to have a bit more colour on them so that will sort itself out but we want it as nice as we can to start with and then you can see where you need to add extra shapes and you, as you'll see like where I added the extra to get that fat belly that's felted away to nothing so I'm going to have to add some more. So the next stage is just looking at him what I'm going to need to do. I want to fill in the muscle behind his elbow here so this leg comes straight up. I'm obviously going to chunk up his neck some more and build him some thigh muscles but overall Keep him working on this to make sure that the wee guy can stand is one of the most important things that I was really worried about, obviously with a long neck. But actually the necks aren't as super long as you think, it's more really long front leg. So he's coming along, I hope you're enjoying watching this and fingers crossed this works out because I'm releasing this video before I'm even close to having made him, so if this is a disaster, I'll tell you that as well. So I hope this helped you. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you like this, click on my wee face to subscribe, and check out the playlist that's going to be my step-by-step -step of this giraffe guy, and don't forget, come back every Thursday. Thank you so much.